So, Tanjiro's and Nezuko's quest to obtain enough of Muzan's blood, simply for the chance that Tamayo may be able to fabricate a solution that would help turn demons that choose to cause no harm to others, back into human beings, begins. And luckily for them, a chance to acquire said blood has presented itself. Now, episode 9 of Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba begins with the coverage of chapter 16 titled Playing Tamari. This also brings about the ending of this series' coverage of volume 2. And the other chapter that this episode adapts, chapter 17 titled Arrow Demon, introduces us to the coverage of this series' third volume. Now, this is by far the most action-packed episode we have had. And because of that, it was also the longest we've seen demons using their blood demon art techniques. If you recall, either last episode or a couple ago, I mentioned how some of these blood demon art techniques get absolutely out of hand. And not in terms of ability, but just being able to follow them in the manga. This was the first instance of that for me. You know, considering that at a point in this battle, there are six Tamaris ricocheting off everywhere and curving in unnatural ways, I don't feel like that's too hard to understand. Even once Yushiro lends Tanjiro his vision and the arrows can visually be seen, I feel like in the manga they weren't used as well as they were in the anime, at least up until the very end. Like, here, they made Tanjiro get tossed around a lot more than he actually was, and I absolutely loved it. The way this adaptation goes about adapting its fight scenes, where there's a lot more dynamic and 3D camera movement and less off-model art suits it perfectly. Everything from the chase scenes, to the look of the abilities, to the sounds were once again perfect. Though, that being said, while I did love this episode and how it adapted the fight scene, this is the first time I'd say a certain aspect of the episode fell off, and that would have to be the pacing. The pacing, for as slow as it already is, felt even slower. And just as a disclaimer, I love this series' pacing so far, it's just with this one episode that I've had this feeling. And I do think that's mainly due to really unnecessary flashbacks and just straight up repeating a couple of scenes. Listen, I understand, I mean, after all, you gotta end the episode off in a good place, which it did. Though I just can't help think that there were better ways that they could've gotten to the same endpoint without having such an awkward middle portion of the episode. Like, for example, I've been fairly impressed with the anime-only content that is added whenever they do decide to add some, so I think that would have been a good alternative to the repeating scenes. Also, during the fight with the Swamp Demon, especially with Nezuko, they did extend her fight quite a bit and it was choreographed really, really well. And you know, to the staff's credit, we did have some instances where they tried to do this. For example, Yushiro doesn't have a fight sequence against Susamaru, the Tamari girl, and while Yushiro's blood demon art technique isn't quite clear, we just know it has something to do with this symbol and similarly to Tamayo, something to do with vision or concealment. That technique he used where he kind of disappears is not canon, or at least I don't recall it being so. Though it is a fairly impressive instance of the staff using what is known about something, in this case Yushiro's blood demon art technique, and finding other applications for them. I also loved his short fight sequence. It was a sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat that made me recall the taijutsu fights in Naruto, at least briefly, and was really disappointed to see it was cut so short. Again, the only critique I have for this episode was its pacing for a brief what, 30, 45 second-ish period? And while I'm not aware of any budget limitations or scheduling issues this episode may have had, I just feel like they had the right idea for a brief second, 
but at the last moment just didn't commit to it long enough. Now I'm going to be quite honest, after discussing how an episode did as an adaptation, I typically dive into some of the themes that an episode could have or instances of plots and or character development. But seeing how this episode was one that was, as I mentioned previously, really action heavy, there wasn't too much of those things, at least that I could spot. But there were some things mentioned and some things shown that I do think warrant being discussed. And the first on that list is the path of blood Tanjiro and Nezuko have to walk. If that random flashback to last episode served any purpose, it's to remind us of the tasks Tanjiro is committed to fulfilling. And not simply because Tamayo asked him to, but because completing these tasks could end up helping Tamayo find a way to turn Nezuko back into a human. This very fight is Tanjiro's and Nezuko's first step into that path of blood. And in this case, much like many, the first step is always the most difficult, as it introduces two people to a world where the dangers and difficulties they will face are unknown to them. And Tanjiro got a good taste of that this episode. Tanjiro's method of defeating demons so far has been to use his senses to figure out a path, this thread that will most successfully guide his sword across and through a demon's neck. And so far, I mean, it's worked. Tanjiro hasn't really fought any demons with the sheer strength or a blood demon art technique that holds enough influence to the battle to the point where it makes it difficult for him to find and follow this thread. But today, it was a different story. Tanjiro had to think and again use all of the training he went through to think of a way to cut Yaba down. And this task wasn't made any less difficult when you take into consideration how well Susamaru and Yaba work together. Susamaru, while not having any specific blood demon art techniques, a lot not any that were specified, quite obviously has a great amount of physical strength and can fucking Tian Shinhan the fuck up. In addition to the other innate abilities demons have, like regeneration and the ability to not grow tired no matter the length of the battle. Yeah, Tanjiro may have come out on top with Yaba, but the reason why it's so important to note Tanjiro's struggle is because this is only the beginning. It's only the first step. Yushiro brought up this thing that he referred to as the 12 demon moons. And to keep spoilers to an absolute minimum, this is essentially the way Muzan ranks his 12 strongest demons. We don't know where these two rank in that 12 or whether they're in that 12 at all. So am I wrong for fearing that Tanjiro and Nezuko will eventually regret walking down this path of blood. But hey, as always, these are my thoughts and I'm curious to read yours. If you are an anime only, let me know your thoughts on this episode and any predictions you may have. What do you think about this concept of the 12 demon moons? Do you think Tanjiro and Nezuko will get used to the difficulties the path they walk on will bring? Or will it be one struggle after another until they hopefully reach their goal? And if you are a manga reader, let me know how you felt UFO Table adapted this episode and what parts do you think they could have done a better job with, if any. And feel free to discuss anything I forgot to mention in the comments below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, it helps the channel out a lot. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, link in the description. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit that bell. That way you make sure you don't miss a video and can continue watching Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, and many other series with me. Apologies for how late this week's videos are going up by the way. I've had audio issues out the ass this week. This is like my fourth time recording this commentary so hopefully everything sounds good. But again, thank you for your patience. And with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.